Hello and welcome. In this lesson, I will walk you through on a simple VLOOKUP function and how to fix the non-applicable error, which is known as the NA error. We will look at the instances that can bring about this non-applicable error. So follow me closely as I walk you through on how to apply a simple VLOOKUP function and also how to fix the NA error. Remember to click the subscribe button on this channel you're watching for more value tips. So let's go right into it. We have our data set here, the product code, the closing stock, the per unit cost, and the stock value. And we want to generate a report based on our data set. We'll be using the VLOOKUP function to derive the closing stock for each of this product code. So, to enter a formula, you start with the equal to function. Remember that. You put your equal to function and V look up immediately, it pops it up and I select. What value do you want to look up? What value are we looking up? We're looking up for this product code. So we just select the sum we're looking up for. You put comma and it takes you to the second argument. You can see immediately it takes you to the next argument. What is the data we are looking out for? We are looking out for this value on. So what is the set of data we are looking for product 003 on? So this is our data set. So we are looking out for that product on this set of data. So this is our table array. I've selected it. So you make it absolute by fixing it. You press F4. Make it absolute by fixing it because we want to make our formula um, very dynamic so that when we drag down it will apply to other cell right so what is the column index based on the selected range table range we are looking out for this particular product in order to get the closing stock our first column is the column the first column on the data set which is the product code the second column is the second um, column on the data set which is our closing stock same with the third column and the fourth column. And what we're looking out for here is our closing stock quantity, which resides in the second column of our database. So our column index number will be two, because that is where the closing stock quantity resides. The first column is product code. The second column is closing stock. So your column index is determined by your data set, right? So you put two and comma. The next argument is your range lookup. The range lookup is optional. It's optional. And if you leave it empty, it goes with the approximate match, which is the true or one. But because I want an exact search for this product code and for it to return the exact closing stock quantity, I'll go with the exact match which is false or zero so i'll select this exact match then you can close your parentheses you're done with this formula and click enter now the product code 003 closing quantity is nine and as you can see we have nine here so we can now drag this formula by filling it to other cells in order to apply the formula and get the closing quantity for order of for this other product so I'll just drag down. Good. Now you see we have an error N A hash N slash A hash N slash A. Why? Because Excel looked out for product 007 right on my database and couldn't find it. That was why it returned this error N A hash N slash A. Same thing with this particular product code. Excel could not find it on the data set, and that is why Excel returned this error. Now, how do we fix this error? To fix this error, you can use either this function if, let me put it in caps, if alongside with ISNA or IFNA. Now, if you're working with Excel 2013 upwards, you will find this particular function. But if you're using Excel 2010, 2007, you won't be seeing this. But you can use this if you're using Excel 2010 or and 2007, if I'm not mistaken, you can use this. So I'll be 
show you how to fix this error using this two function. So the first will be, I'll be showing you, I'll start with the IFNA error. So what we'll do is to wrap this particular function into our VLOOKUP formula. We have our VLOOKUP, so we'll put the IFNA around it, right? So I'll just go to the formula tab and I'll say IFNA. It says that if it is a non-applicable error, that is the if it is non-applicable. So if this VLOOKUP, that is the entire VLOOKUP formula here, is giving us non-applicable, right? If it is giving us non-applicable error, what value should you should um, should Excel replace that non-applicable error? So for the purpose of this training, I will just use zero, zero and close it and enter. Good, you can see that. So because we've applied this IFNA, the error has disappeared. So we are saying if it's a, a non-applicable error that is in here, please replace it with zero. So the IFNA, as I stated earlier, is applicable if you're using Excel 2013 upwards. Now let's go and use the if and ISNA error. First of all, let's start with the ISNA error first. So I'll now input the ISNA. So I say, is this a non-applicable error? I'm asking, is this based on the formula, this formula that I just inputted, is it bringing up a non-applicable error? And watch what will be. It will bring up either true or false. True. So it's telling us that it is a non-applicable error. Then I will now say, if it is a non-applicable error, if this is equal to true. If it is true, just as we've seen, then just return zero, right? But if it is not true, if it is false, value if false, I'll just copy this VLOOKUP formula from beginning to the end. This is where it stopped. Control C, copy it, then I'll paste it here. And I can now close the bracket of the IF formula and enter. It's quite long, though, but you can just go through it over and over again to understand. So that's how you use either the IFNA or the IF and ISNA, the if AM function or ISNA. So if you are working with Excel 2013 upwards, you use the IFNA. Or if you're working with Excel 2010 or 2007, you can use the IF, that's the IF, and alongside with the ISNA, right? So that's it for this training. I believe you've gotten value from this. If you have, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video to as many that will benefit from it. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.